Hey everyone, this is Joey back again at ESC Plus, and we have entered the period of time where we're going to have our ESC Plus Awards for the Eurovision 2019 to help us get through the summer and to find out what your favorites were about the show. I'm going to talk a little bit about each of the categories that are open for voting, and uh, then maybe you guys can also get to voting yourselves. So the first one is going to be Best Staging. So now everyone knows staging is something that we look forward to after hearing the songs, and it really can elevate a lot of people's uh, preference around what, which songs they love based on how it's represented on stage. So this is a, a very exciting thing to look at. Um, some of my favorites in terms of the staging for this year, I have to say uh, Georgia was one of my favorites when it came to the staging. I was really impressed because this song I thought was not going to be taken that seriously. It was like the least favorites from a lot of people. But the way that Oto used the stage with his body language, um, the visual backdrop of the earth and fire burning and then having the pyro on the stage. And I also loved everybody all in black. So you had like Odo and then you had like the five guys, uh, backing singers all in black. And the way they interacted with each other, just like the, the movement, um, it was almost like they were like his like little band of like you know band of thieves or army um it was great I, I i really dug it i i love the performance so that's one of mine um another one i thought was excellent in terms of the staging was esther from romania on a sunday so one of the things i really liked about this is that they used the whole stage again um and they also uh started the dancer one of the dancers was out like on the catwalk to, to start off the performance and kind of really um kind of drew you into the story that she was trying to tell i understand that there was some sort of dracula theme going on and there certainly was a lot of that darkness in her in her outfit and everything um i loved the use of the pyro and the lighting and and how that all like kind of like really amplified the performance, but I did feel like it was a little bit overdone. Um, but I, it was a very well thought out staging performance for Romania, and sorry to see them miss the final on that. Uh, so other uh, great staging I would say would be, believe it or not, I love San Marino. Um, so having the use of the LED with the lyrics um, and the simple uh, kind of context of the song, I think really worked. It must have connected with viewers at home, like having this crisp, kind of just uh, colorful palette with all the dancers in white up front and Sir Hat in white. I, I kind of liked it. It was just, it was very engaging to me. And I really felt like I couldn't take my eyes off of it, even though, even, even if I wasn't that interested in the song. So it almost felt like a, a commercial, I want to say. Like, um, something like that I might see like a Target commercial or something like that, but it, it, it was eye-catching and you know Sir Hat made um, the best San Marino uh, finish in Eurovision ever, largely in part to the televoters, so it must have connected with people uh, somehow and, and maybe the staging was to, to blame for that. Uh, and then so two more, um, Iceland. I don't think I can say enough about Hatari, but I have to say the staging, um, you know, we sort of expected what we got in terms of the staging because we had seen it on the Pikmin and we've seen them on the free uh, Eurovision circuit and it was very similar to that. But what I think I got out of it after watching it many times was just the story and how it unfolded um, through the use of the six people up there. Uh, it wasn't just all a costume act, or it wasn't just all just for like just like, for the certain look. I really felt like the, the roles that we've been hearing um, Matthias and Clemens talk about on how they relate to one another were really coming through on stage in terms of their body language and, and the movement. And it, it, it was it was very exhilarating to watch in terms of the special effects and, and the set itself. So one of my favorite staging. Um, for this past year. And then finally, I think my absolute favorite stage um, interpretation would have to be Australia, um, only because I really was not a fan of this song. I was definitely for 2000 whatever, 
I wanted that to represent Australia, and I was really disappointed that it didn't. But when I saw Kate being wheeled in on that like large pole, I felt like this was a perfect interpretation on how to bring that song to life. And what I liked about it was that you know we were seeing the uh, people move around on those poles, and they're they're free from this this weight that had been dragging them down. And that can be, you know, it was, it was interpreted very, very, very literally, and that they're floating through space and defying gravity. But there's also the underlying meaning of the song is is, is more, it's got more depth than that. So I like the way that they kind of left the message of the song to the side for a minute and really focused on just the literal interpretation of it. And it looked amazing on television as well. So. One thing I was concerned about was like maybe if you don't see the, the height of those poles and kind of the, the differential between the audience in the arena and where Kate was way high up, um, maybe you, you would lose its effect. But when looking playing it back on TV, I thought that it still maintained a great deal of wow factor. So those are my favorites. Um, it'd be interesting to hear what some of yours. Like I said, you can vote. Just head over to the website and vote for your favorites, and we'll be back again to reveal the winners. So um, before I leave you, please do not forget to like this video and share it so we'll get more votes into the contest and we'll have a bigger excitement when I'm revealing it. And uh, make sure you subscribe and check back with us for updates later on. Thanks a lot.